If you travel along I-20 in DeKalb County, it might feel the earth move under your tires today. GDOT crews are using explosives as they continue working on a massive expansion of the interstate. 11 Alive's Jerry Carnes explains how blasting could impact your ride. Having a blast. Commuters along this section of Interstate 20 are not having a good time dealing with congestion and construction. It's the construction crews here who are blasting their way toward an all-new I-20. Meanwhile, there are drivers who struggle to make it onto the interstate. Just to get on, you got a no turn on red, and these lights not changing well, oh, fast yeah. enough. Others avoid I-20 altogether. There's a lot of back roads around, you know, you can go down Covington Highway. GDOT crews are working beside the interstate as they prepare to add lanes between Lithonia Industrial Boulevard and I-285. There are spots that are proving to be a geological challenge to proceed. Crews drill into the earth, typically about 15 feet beneath the surface, to reach a layer of rock that's in the way of drainage needed beneath a new lane. That's where they place explosives. Traffic briefly comes to a halt and is kept at least 50 feet from the blast site before rock becomes rubble. Crews can't hold traffic for too long. A 15 minute window that they will hold traffic in that area. Uh, they aren't supposed to hold longer than 15 minutes, but that does create a traffic backup. To control the blast and contain the energy, crews add a layer of sand, as they did in 2013 during a project on Highway 316. Also for safety, the blasting has to take place during the day, during a two-hour afternoon window Monday through Thursday. That doesn't mean that they'll be blasting every day, uh, but they have the ability to do that. For two months, I-20 will be having a blast, even though drivers here aren't. That was Jerry Carnes reporting. The window for blasting is between 1 o'clock and 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Monday through Thursday, for eight 